In what is arguably going to be one of the more random videos on the channel, this time around we're going to be delving into an abandoned CD collection which I was lucky to save from destruction. And adding context to that, a warehouse close to where I work was closing down, they were giving away a whole load of office furniture and random bits and pieces, including this CD collection which I asked the guy that was there if I could take these, and he said if I weren't to take them he was just going to take them to the tip, to be dumped, to be destroyed. And so I thought it would be cool to grab this collection. I'm not really a massive CD collector, but there is some stuff in here I will definitely be keeping. And the rest of it I will be taking to the charity shop. There is a bit of a catch with this, however. A lot of these CDs actually are missing the discs, which is really disappointing. And then there's also a big pile of loose discs, which includes pirated movies and... Other obscure things? We'll delve into that a little bit later into the video. Anyway, I thought this would be a fun and overall very rare opportunity to go through somebody's CD collection. And I say somebody's because this box is actually labelled as Adam's CDs. Who is Adam? I have absolutely no idea, and when I asked the guy the same question, he said it was a previous employee that had just abandoned these CDs, and if I weren't to take them, like I said before, they were just going to be tipped, and it just seemed like a waste in my eyes. So, I'm going to delve through these on camera, we'll see whether or not there's anything that is worth keeping. We'll go through these in no particular order, starting off with Muse Dead Star In Your World, part of a two CD set. I have very little familiarity with Muse, if I'm being honest. I quite like their track Supermassive Black Hole, I think that's one of their standouts. And the track Uprising, which had a really fun music video of destroying a small model city, I thought that was quite nifty. Uh, but yet with this one, genuinely know very little about Muse, if I'm being honest, so this might be one for me to give a proper listen to. Next up we have Gangster's Paradise from Coolio, God bless him, includes hit single Gangster's Paradise. Yes, this is one that I was genuinely quite interested in to, uh, to listen through the entire album. However, not only is this broken, but there's no disc, so that's, that's quite disappointing. Couple of blank CD cases. Faithless, No Roots, one that I am sadly not familiar with. By all means, any of these that I'm not familiar with at all, let me know in the comments if they are worth my time and I will try to check them out. I say try because, once again, this one doesn't have a disc. I see a pattern emerging. Hmm. An Outcast double album, which sadly is missing one of the discs. It only includes The Love Below, which I'm not overly familiar with. Outcast, Hey Ya is the obvious iconic track. Uh, can anybody name any other track other than that? Ms. Jackson, I guess that was one that springs to mind. So unfortunately, once again, a disc missing from that one. And I think both of these Linkin Park albums are missing the discs as well. We have Meteora which my knowledge on Linkin Park extends to that of, I believe one of their tracks was used for the Transformers franchise of movies. Um, what I've Done, I think the track was called. And I do love the cover art on Hybrid Theory there, but unfortunately, once again, no disc. A couple of movie soundtracks, we have Reservoir Dogs, which is my personal favourite Tarantino movie, and luckily the disc is included for this one. However, sadly, no disc with the American Pie movie soundtrack, although this is one that I'm not overly interested in. Feeder Polythene? I never got into Feeder, so maybe this will be an opportunity to finally check out some of their stuff. Luckily, the disc there is included. A best of compilation, Groove Armada, there is the track list for anyone that is curious. This is an interesting one, this is the South Park single release of Chef Chocolate Salty Balls, which includes some additional tracks on that. I believe this one is included as part of the Chef Aid album, so it's good to have the single release of that track. Another compilation disc, the band's 05, featuring the likes of Franz Ferdinand, the Kings of Leon, the Killers, the Darkness, just to name a few that I'm personally familiar with, and there is the track list over two discs. A Duran Duran album, Thank You, which I'm not overly familiar with. There is the track list, and luckily this one does have the disc as part of it. Bob Marley and the Wailers, Babylon by Bus. There's quite a few Eminem singles and CDs included with this collection, but most of them, unfortunately, don't have the discs included, and that can be said for Encore there, which is really disappointing. I was hoping to add quite a few of these to my collection since I've really grown to appreciate Eminem's music more in recent years. There's 50 Cent, The Massacre, which I believe is missing one disc. Yeah. 
couple more compilation discs, Kerrang 2, the album featuring the likes of Limbiscuit, Slipknot, Papa Rogues, Linkin Park, Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age. Overall, a really great track list on this one, but this album is certainly worse for wear. Not only is it broken, it doesn't have the disc, and the same can be said for Kerrang! Free, featuring the likes of Weezer, Sum 41, Incubus, Slipknot. Really great lineup of tracks on this one as well, but again, no disc, and also broken. One that I was very excited to see in this collection, we have no doubts, Don't Speak, the single release, which also includes the alternative version of the same track. And this is one that I actually cleaned up, because I'm definitely keeping this one in the collection. The disc originally skipped, However, I was able to clean it up and luckily it no longer skips, so that's a positive. Another compilation disc, this one is simply called The Album, featuring the likes of The Libertines, Stereophonics, The Killers, Embrace, The Doves. Some really cool choices on this one in particular, and this one luckily has the discs as part of it. Salt and Pepper, very necessary. The American Beauty movie soundtrack, a Foo Fighters single that I wasn't overly familiar with, this is Big Me, I love the cover art on this one, and this also includes some additional tracks. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication, one of my favourite tracks by them. Placebo, Without You, I'm Nothing. Next up we have a whole load of Eminem related stuff, which sadly the majority of which doesn't have the discs included. So we have the Eminem Show, the Marshall Mathers, the Slim Shady LP, and we have a couple of singles which luckily do have the discs included. We have the Slim Shady single. Stan, which is one of my absolute favourite Eminem tracks. The Way I Am. And I just noticed then in the stack above, the 8 Mile soundtrack, which I checked out this movie not too long ago, and I really did enjoy it, but sadly, no disc. Run DMC versus Jason Nevins, it's like that. A single release, not really something I'm overly familiar with. One thing that I was very excited to see, however, was the single release for Gorillaz, Tomorrow Comes Today, some of the OG stuff. Uh, this one does need a little bit of a cleanup, but otherwise it's in really good condition, thankfully with the disc. Some more Gorillaz content with arguably one of their most popular albums, Demon Days, which you could have grabbed back in the day for 977 in Asda, that's crazy. There's a tracklist for this one, some really iconic tunes on here, such as Dirty Harry, Feel Good In, Gal Manana, Dare, Demon Days, of course, being the title track. Sadly, no disc with this one, but I do already have this one in my collection, thankfully. Some more Bob Marley with Bob Marley and the Whalers in Natty Dread. Sadly, no disc. The very best of Marvin Gaye, which doesn't have the disc. Some Kanye West content there with Late Registration. I think this only has just the one disc on this one. Seal. And Funeral for a Friend, casually dressed in deep conversation. Not a group I'm overly familiar with. Let me know if this is worth checking out. Some more Marley content there with Exodus. Now, a couple of Green Day albums, which High School Me would have been all over this. We have Dookie, which luckily has the disc. And speaking of CD discs, we have what is honestly one of the strangest CDs I have ever come across. I don't know whether or not this is missing a front cover leaflet, but they really do seem to illustrate deliberately the fact that this disc is not your traditional disc for the album Brain Stew slash Jaded, where this is literally a CD disc in the shape of a brain. What the f... Yeah, this is just... So bizarre. I would be terrified to put this in my Blu-ray player since obviously it's not a proper disc shape and there's no sort of centerpiece for this to sit on for it to play properly. So this is probably going to be one that you'll only play in a proper CD player and I'm not risking this in any other device. That is crazy. The other half of that Muse CD set that I showed off before, this is part two of a two CD set, Unintended 2. A Cypress Hill single, Throw Your Set in the Air. Bon Jovi, These Days, which I have never listened to this album in full, so I would be interested in checking this one out. A couple of single releases we have. Weirdly, the Men in Black, We Just Want to Party With You single. 
which I've not watched a Men in Black movie in a very long time, and I don't really have much of a familiarity with the soundtrack, so I'm going to guess this is part of the soundtrack. But there you go, there's the tracks that are included on that one. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so this is Darude Sandstorm, a very frustrating meme from several years ago where on the YouTube comments if you would ask for a song choice that was used in somebody's video, they would respond with Darude Sandstorm, which was this awful techno tune, if memory serves. Yeah, so that's, um, that's going in the charity pile. What looks to be more Marley content there, the two CD sets of the best-selling reggae album of all time, that of course being a legend, the Deluxe Edition. And there is the man himself, really great presentation on this particular album, but does it have the discs? Just the one. Probably the only Coldplay album I care for, that being a rush of blood to the head, which you can say in jest that a lot of their songs do sound very much the same, but there are some good stuff from Coldplay. From this album, Clocks has always been my personal favourite. God Put a Smile Upon Your Face is very good, and The Scientist was very good, especially the music video where Chris Martin actually learned the song backwards to lip sync with the music video. I thought that was incredible. Pulp Countdown, which is a two CD set, and sadly this does not feature any of my favourite pulp tracks. I'm a big fan of Disco 2000, I quite like Common People and uh, Like a Friend, the latter being probably my favourite track by Pulp. And this one is meant to be a two CD set, does it include the second disc? Yes it does. So that's one that I will definitely listen back to. And we have a few more single releases there, we have uh, Bomb Funk MC's Freestyle, and not one that I'm familiar with. And then some more Faithless stuff. We have We Come One, Don't Leave, and Take the Long Way Home. A metal band, this is Kill Switch Engage, a two CD special edition set. I love the artwork on this one. Sadly, we're missing a disc. It only has one disc for this particular album. Another single release being Scar Tissue from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Guns and Roses, the Spaghetti Incident, I love the cover art on this one, there's the track list for those that are interested. The Clash, not really a group or an album that I'm familiar with, but luckily this one does include the disc, so if I am missing out I can obviously check that one out. Next up we have Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavoured Water. An incredible title and some really unique artwork on this one, but unfortunately this one only includes the bonus disc, the actual album itself is missing from that one. Next up we have Nickelback, Silver Side Up, Blur, The Great Escape, which when I saw there was a Blur album in here, I was really hoping my favourite one, Think Tank, would have been in here, but sadly not. Next up we have Beverly Knight and the Bee Funk. A couple of REM albums, we have Monster and Automatic for the People. Good old Johnny Rotten in Nevermind the Bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols. A couple of Ice-T related things, we have a single I Must Stand and Ice-T 6 Return of the Real. Elegantly Wasted, a group that I'm honestly not familiar with at all. Another single release there, A Tribe Called Quest. Some more Linkin Park, this time in the form of a collision course, as it's worded, with Jay-Z included with this project. Another compilation disc from NME this time, The Essential Bands, featuring the likes of Kasabian, Stereophonics, Razor Lights, Franz Ferdinand, etc. And the Kaiser Chiefs. Now, I predict the, the track I Predict a Riot is on this, am I right? I'm correct. I predict a riot. <laughs> it just seems to be the only Kaiser Chiefs track that anybody knows. And sadly on this one, only the one disc is included. Another Red Hot Chili Peppers album. This is By The Way, and I love the artwork on this one. Some incredible stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, that is the wrong disc. That is a Marley disc. So, hmm, I'm going to have to double check a lot of these now. A single release, Heaven is a Half Pipe, not one that I'm familiar with. And finishing off the first row of CDs, we have some Radiohead content with Pablo Honey, of course featuring Creep, 
and the single release for Street Spirit Fade Out, which I believe is part of a two CD set. Yes, yeah, so this is CD1, CD2 will be in the next row. Just double checked, these REM albums. So Monster is absolutely fine with the correct disc. However, Automatic for the People has Gorilla's Demon Days inside of it. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check all of these to make sure the correct discs are where they should be. I thought now would be a good time to go through this loose selection of discs that were inside the box. The majority of these are just loose CDs that don't have a case, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to fill in some of the gaps in some of the empty cases that we have already looked through. And then there are one or two CDRs and then one or two DVDRs. So let's begin with those, starting off with the movie Boy A, a movie that I have never seen before, has a pretty good rating online, I may actually look to pick that one up for the collection. And that stars Andrew Garfield, and this film, when I put this in the Blu-ray player, it played after one or two attempts, the disc itself is pretty scratched up. And it did start playing, but the quality of the actual movie, absolutely god awful, so overall a pretty shoddy pirate copy, so I'll likely just end up destroying that disc. These next couple, this is described as a tough disc, and this one is actually pretty badly damaged. I tried to run this, and it did eventually run, took maybe 10 attempts, and the Blu-ray player made some noises I have never heard before. When it started running, it turns out it was some, uh, some filth, some pornography, and the disc then just corrupted, and the Blu-ray player, funnily enough, just ejected it. So, yeah, Adam was into some weird stuff, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, likewise with this one, which had some also some filth. And then the movie I Love You, Philip Morris, which I have never seen before. And that one stars, I believe, Ewan McGregor, if memory serves. So I don't know whether or not that is actually worth watching. You can let me know in the comments. And then we have a CDR, which had some random heavy metal on there, Rammstein. There was a couple of tracks by them on this disc. And then we get into, for the majority anyhow, the random loose discs. So we have the Bad Boys movie soundtrack, some more reggae related stuff, part of a two disc compilation set with these ones. This one I've just had to google, I had absolutely no idea what this disc was from. Apparently it's an album called Dark Light by Him or H.I.M. released back in 2005. This is a really random one, we have disc 2 of Led Zeppelin's Mothership, an album that I've already got in my personal collection. Legends of Rock, another newspaper promo giveaway, this time given away with the news of the world, and I have no idea what artists are on here, so I'll have to put this in the player to double check that one. No idea what these are from either, both have the Union Jack prominently featured. Again, I'll have to likely put these in the player to find out what content is on them. Motown Chartbusters Volume 3, which looks to be another compilation disc. Likewise, another compilation, Club Mix Classics 1, with some horrible sticky residue on there. This next one I just double-checked, this is luckily one of the ones we were looking for, so this is R.E.M.'s Automatic for the People, so we can swap out the Gorillas Demon Days, put that in the case where it belongs, and return this one to its original case, so that is very promising, that's an excellent addition to the collection. Some more movie related stuff, this time the Pulp Fiction soundtrack, which sadly doesn't have the case, that is really unfortunate since it would have been great to get both that and Reservoir Dogs. Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree, this one I have absolutely no idea what that one is from, is that the band Tweet Southern Hummingbird? Not one I'm familiar with. A Franz Ferdinand disc, you could have it so much better. A David Gray disc, Slow Motion, or Life in Slow Motion. Bon Jovi, Keep the Faith. Another R&B compilation disc. The Rolling Stones, Hot Rocks. A Dr. Hook disc, Completely Hooked. This one, I have no idea what this is, but it's apparently... Oh no, it's a Muse disc, there you go, Muse Absolution. Not so sure what this one's from. This one, Strange Love, no idea. Osric Tentacles, Strangitude, hmm. Yeah, not one I'm familiar with either. 50 of the Year's Greatest Hit Singles, Disc 2, Soulmate. Another H.I.M. or Him record, not one that I'm familiar with. Another disc I'm not familiar with, I'm gonna have to look up these tracks to see whether or not I can find where that one belongs. No hints on this one, unfortunately. 
Uh, this one looks as though it belongs with that two disc compilation disc or two albums that we found before from Outcast. I'll double check that one. And this is a disc I would recognize absolutely anywhere. This is from Radiohead's OK Computer, one of my all time favorite albums. Delving into what's left over, we have Greatest Hits of the 70s, another compilation disc. Then we have a couple of blank CD cases here with Westwood, The Big Dog. We have a Stereophonics album and an Essential R&B compilation disc. Some more singles, some Dr. Dre related content. We have Prince, The Hits Volume 1. Fatboy Slim, Halfway Between the Gutter and the Stars. A single from Wu-Tang Clan, Gravel Pit. Air, Sexy Boy. This one is sadly damaged there. We have Afro Man, Because I Got High, the single release. This one is a little bit worse for wear. U2's War, which does luckily have the disc as part of that one. Then we have a single release from Tupac, Happy Home. A couple of Fuji's records there with the score and translator crew. Daniel Beddingfield, Gotta Get Through This. Sway's One for the Journey. Some more iced tea content there with Home Invasion. A single release from Blue Cantrell, not one that I am familiar with in all honesty. And we have Jimi Hendrix, War Heroes. Massive Attack, not one that I am familiar with. Another single there, Loonies, I Got Five on it. Another Fatboy Slim album, You've Come a Long Way, baby. Another compilation disc, this is Kiss Ibiza 2000. And this one does have both discs included. Aerosmith, uh, Big Ones, which luckily has the disc. Then we have another Jimi Hendrix album, this being the ultimate experience. And then it looks like possibly more pirated stuff in these smaller cases. So we have, ah, okay, so this is a giveaway CD with the uh, Mail on Sunday, it looks like. So that was a Peter Gabriel CD, then we have a pirated disc of Fallout Boy, Alien Ant Farm, and this one is a Lost Profits album. A Spooks album, SIO, SOS, Volume 1, not something that I have any familiarity with at all. Next up we have a Mary J. Bly album, My Life, which this one does not have the disc. A Missy Elliott album, So Addictive, or she's calling herself there, Missy Misdemeanor Elliott, which is kind of random. Another compilation disc, this is Massive Dance 98. An OPM album, Menace to Society, I like the artwork on that one. A single release there, Zibit X. Another best of compilation on this one featuring the likes of The Cure, Iggy Pop, Elvis Costello, Simply Red. Very random mix there on that particular compilation. A, another Prince album, Prince Volume 2. Westwood the Big Dog, so that is where that disc from before must be from. Macy Gray, Oh How Life Is. Another Kanye West album. Kerrang! for the album, another compilation disc which is sadly damaged, and I'm going to wager there's no disc. There is indeed no disc, that is unfortunate. Next up we have House of Pain, same as it ever was. Blondie, the greatest hits compilation. And this one includes a DVD disc as well, which is interesting. Backyard Dog, Baddest, Roughest. The Black Eyed Peas, Ella Funk. Yeah, never my thing, the Black Eyed Peas, unfortunately. Transplants, another group that I am sadly not very familiar with, but I do love the artwork on this album, and luckily the disc is included there. Next up we have Sinead O'Connor, Gospel Oak. Another Dr. Dre album there, The Chronic. 
Murder was the case. Snoop Dogg. Another Essential R&B compilation. Now Dance 2002, another compilation disc, which luckily has the discs included. And finishing up, we have one of my all-time favourite albums, The Bends by Radiohead, and the other half of that Radiohead Street Spirit single release. That about does it. Overall, for the most part, a pretty solid CD collection, with a pretty varied musical interest, a lot of stuff that does personally interest me, in terms of the bands and genres that have been chosen. In terms of what is now left over of the collection, I've kind of organised what is left... So we have this small stack of CD cases, which unfortunately all of these are damaged and do not have discs. I don't really know what to do with those, so they're probably just going to end up in the bin, sadly. With these little stacks I've put together, these two on the far left, we have stuff that I'm definitely going to keep and things that I'm going to have a quick look through, see whether or not there is anything of interest. If there is, I'll obviously keep it. If not, then it will end up in the charity pile. Speaking of which, we have these two stacks on the right, which all of this stuff is going to the local charity shop. The center pile is made up of stuff where, unfortunately, the discs are missing, which is really sad, because there's some great stuff in there that I would have loved to have either gone through, or I would have just added to the collection anyway, but it is what it is. I may, however, double-check my personal collection and see whether or not if I have any damaged cases, I can maybe swap over to something that is in a better condition. At least then these won't all be going to waste as such. And I guess to round off this video, we have this smaller stack of CDs. These were from before where, unfortunately, I just could not identify them. And so I have since run them through the computer, double-checked what was on here in terms of content. And I was actually pleasantly surprised by a couple of these. So this first one, I actually thought because of the sort of art style being reminiscent of this Outcast disc, the love below it might have been the other disc to go with that. Turns out I was completely wrong. This is an album called Garbage by an artist called Garbage from 1995. And this was a grunge sort of rock style album. And I loved this. I ended up listening to the whole thing. The vocals from Shirley Ann Manson. Incredible stuff. So I would highly recommend checking that one out. The next two discs are from a double CD set called The Best of British, I don't know what could have given that away, a 50 Golden Years style compilation set, some good stuff on there. This next one was a huge surprise actually, this is by Gwen Stefani, a solo album called Love Angel Music Baby from I believe 2004, which had some good stuff on there. This next one, I'm kind of surprised in all honesty that I didn't recognize this. This is a White Stripes album called Get Behind Me Satan from, I believe, 2005. And the sort of coloration on here, I should have known better that that was the White Stripes. This next one I looked at beforehand, this is Dark Light by Him, not H-I-M like I was saying before, an album from 2005 that I ended up listening to all the way through, and I genuinely really enjoyed. Overall, some great stuff on here. The track Rip Out the Wings of a Butterfly was my personal favourite, and I will definitely check out some of their other stuff. And this last one, I'm kind of surprised I didn't recognise by name, but I definitely recognised the tune when I started listening to it. This is Jakarta American Dream. That's going to do it for this random collection video looking through an entire box of CDs. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave me a like down below. Let me know in the comments, is there anything in here that I should be listening to that I may be disregarded? As always, I love hearing your thoughts, opinions, and of course, recommendations. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios. Are you threatening me?